I first became interested in studying spiders when I was in college. I was very fortunate that there was a professor who allowed me to first feed her colony of animals, and it turned out this colony of animals were spiders. And that's when I first had the opportunity to get up close and personal with spiders. That's what changed my life, was just having to, to see them and having to interact with them. And I started noticing things about these organisms that had never occurred to me before that I never would have thought of just by seeing pictures of them in books. In my research, I try to understand the relationship between changes in spider genomes to changes in their ability to make silks and the characteristics of their silks. I don't know if other people have tried to do this, but I certainly have tried to just take a ball of string and just to see if I could make a spider web. And it's pretty darn hard. So we all have seen spiders that you know, make cobwebs or some that make that very iconic orb web versus some spiders that don't make very much of a web. All those behaviors to make those different architectures, it's genetically based. What are those genes? What's controlling them? How have they evolved? I would love to be able to study questions like that about those behaviors. This is a really exciting time to be a biologist because of the revolution that's been gone on in DNA sequencing and DNA analysis technology, I can ask a lot of questions that really weren't possible before. So far, I've really been focusing on how they make the silk, so basically how they produce that ball of string. But how do you get the body parts? How do you get the choreography? I'd love to know that. The American Museum has the world's largest spider collection. There's over a million specimens right here in this museum. I think museums play a very big role in shaping, hopefully inspiring, the next generation of scientists. I think when students of any age enter a museum and they see what nature has produced, when they see the products of evolution, I think there's gonna be some people that are just gonna start asking these how and why questions that will just keep you up at night, that will turn you into a biologist.